We start this week's adventure from where we left off last week, at my park up at Blackhead Lighthouse on the edge of the Burren. And as I begin my drive down this stunning coastline in search of my next photographic subjects, this route is just simply stunning to drive. So sit back and enjoy the drive with me along the Atlantic coast of Ireland in County Clare, because when we arrive, we are certainly in for a treat. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me on an absolutely beautiful beach called Fenor. It's in County Clare. And as I was driving down the road this morning, um, I caught it on the corner of my eye and I said, okay, I'll go and have a look and see what it's like. I think the advantage that I have here is that the sun now is going to be shooting with me. So I said, okay, you know what? The color of the sand was really nice. There's some nice, you know, rocks that are within that as well. And I think the kind of separation and the contrast between the two is what brought my attention. And as I was then arriving down to it, I said, you know what, actually, I think I can do something. I was inspired by two videos recently. One is by Nigel Danson. Uh, if you haven't seen that, actually, it's a series of uh, three videos. He spent 30 days in Luskintyre in the Outer Hebrides in Scotland, and he got some phenomenal shots there. And the second was the most recent one by Gavin Hardcastle, and he found some nice details in the sand, some abstract shots. So I said, okay, I'll come and I'll see if I can find some shots like that here. And immediately upon arriving on the beach, I can see that there's some nice textures and gradients here below me. So what I'm going to do is set up a shot and I have to be conscious obviously setting up the shot now because I don't have, uh, or I will, I will have the challenge rather of the shadow of the sun um, shooting with me. I might end up shooting uh, towards the sun, I don't know yet, but I've got one below me anyway here now and the sand is moving nicely and creating some nice ridges as well within that. So I think that'll be my first one anyway for here. I probably won't go anywhere near the water. I'm probably going to just look at the details and the textures in the sand, but yeah, a different type of episode anyway here. Let's see how we get on. I'll show you the first shot anyway. And um, yeah, I'll talk you through how I'm going to set it up once I get it framed. So I'm better off now just to bring you down here into the camera that I'm taking the photograph on so you can see what I'm actually looking at. So as you can see here now there's a small bit of an artifact here. I have to take that out and post it's a bit of plastic or something like that but I framed up the shot that it's coming from here and then working up in that direction. But as you can see here I have to be super conscious of my shadow. Now if I zoom out you can see the shadow of the camera is here. So I'm positioning the camera just to the right and then I am zooming in just so that I remove that then from there. And then with the exposure time, um, I'm varying that actually. So I'm using my histogram so I get nothing blown out because I want to make sure that I get some light contrast within the scene. But I like the way this is you know, panning out. I think the uh, ridges are really, really nice as well. And a moment ago as well, when I was setting it up, there was a bit of a wind blowing and it was kind of blowing them. Just like right now, as you can see, they're blowing off the top of those little mini ridges as well. But 
definitely a interesting shot anyway to take for the first one. Happy I got this. I'll give you a look at it there now and then we'll see what else I can find this morning. One challenge I'm definitely going to have anyway here is footprints in the sand and that's always a challenge when you come to a beach that has been you know cleared from the night before with the tide but because I'm looking for minute details now within the sand I have to be very careful number one where I step because I could walk in the middle of a frame and then ruin that subject or then number two where I'm positioning the camera so the sun now is just over my right shoulder here so it's casting a shadow in this direction so I think if I come to the left hand side of the subject the shadow will be off to the right and then I don't need to worry about that being in the frame. But what I found here now, you can kind of just make it out, I think, in your frame here. It's just a rock, it's a pretty standard rock, but there's some lovely t textures and also colors of the mixture of dark sand and the lighter sand. And I'm just now going into that at the moment here. I'm at 24 mil and I'm at one two hundred of a second and I'm at F11 and I'm using my manual focus and focus peaking just to make sure that I get everything within the image sharp and I'm making sure as well I'm using my histogram that nothing is going to be blown out. I think with the contrast between these here and the kind of shapes that's cur curving around that rock I do think it make for a nice second shot anyway. I do spot some um, kind of divots in the water or in the sand from the water as well along here closer to the shore so I'm going to head down that direction now next and see what else I can get but yeah I'll give you a look at this next shot anyway here hopefully it'll turn out hopefully it stays in color it doesn't go too black and white um, we'll see you know I'll know a lot more when I get it back to base but for now anyway I think it's a nice pleasing shot anyway on the back of the camera. Less than 20 feet now from where I was a moment ago, I've come across this incredibly beautiful rock pool. And because I'm looking for details and contrast within the sand, I'm actually now finding quite a lot within this. At the very beginning here, I kind of have like ridges with different coloring in the sands as well along here with obviously some water next to that. And then where I've got my camera as well now at the moment here is with the light and the way the light is hitting, it's creating some really, really nice shadows and then Join with that, the bright sand and the dark sand, I think it looks really, really nice. Anyway, on the back of the camera. I think in this simple rock pool alone, I've got a number of shots as I'm talking here. Now I see a couple of other ones as well. The challenge that I have, similar to a moment ago, is I have to be very careful of where I stand, or even for this matter, where I place the tripod, because once I disturb that, the scene then is then disturbed and obviously is not as natural as I would have first uh, thought. Now, with that as well here, everything is quite interesting because I don't necessarily have to have the camera level. I can maneuver the camera to face and, and, and be in the orientation that the sand and the colors are as well. So right now I've got my camera here probably at around a 45 degree angle, but I'm lining it up here with the shapes that are within the sand. And then when I look at the image, the image itself should be relatively straight as well then in that way. So I think this is a very interesting style of photography to be able to find those details. And I'm not using a macro lens or anything like that. I'm using my 16 to 35. Now, granted, I'm at 35 mil at the moment because I want to be able to zoom in as much as I can. And then I'm having just to adjust the composition so I'm not getting any shadows of the legs of the tripods or even the tripod legs themselves in the images. But yeah, I think from this one simple pool here, I should get probably around maybe three or four 
images. I'll explore around here any a bit more. I'll give you a look at the images that I find from this uh, rock pool and then we're going to continue on down because I'm only 50 feet from the beginning of the beach already so it's phenomenal what you can find when you tune your eye in to the, to, to the textures in the sand. Now again I don't know if they're going to be anything amazing but they're definitely going to be slightly different and slightly abstract I think anyway in relation to the shots that I find here. This beach really lends itself quite well with the dark sand and the lighter sand. So yeah I'll show you these now and then we'll continue and see what else I can find. Coming across this very interesting um, tidal pool, there's some beautiful ridges and layers that probably are on about maybe 15 or 20 layers from the water as the water would have sank down into the sand. And I'm only focusing purely on this and it's kind of a semicircle, um, like a crescent as such like that curving around this dark rock. And I took a couple of handheld shots and I decided then to, to bring the tripod over because I noticed that um, now the sun is coming out again, which is great because without the sun, you don't get the highlight and the shadow uh, as much extenuated in the actual uh, frame. But when the sun does come out, you can really start seeing that then as well as it falls off down into the cavern, if you want to call it that, within the frame. Now, settings as well at the moment here, I'm at one, one, one sixtieth of a second, I'm at f11, my ISO is at 100, and I'm using my focus peaking as well, and I'm just taking probably around about three shots just to make sure that everything is completely in focus, because what I don't want is for it to be soft, I want the whole thing to be sharp. And again, I'm positioning the camera to the left of the subject so that the shadow is being cast off over to the right and then it's not becoming something that I have to deal with within the image. But yeah, another lovely shot here now as well. And again, I've only moved maybe five feet from that rock pool that gave me so many images a moment ago. This is a nice find here now as well. And yeah, I'm gonna to head towards the water anyway here now next. Hopefully I don't get distracted along the way like I've been done so far, but it's great fun and uh, definitely something I'd recommend to try. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go handheld and I'm going to explore around this area here. I have to be very careful because as I take a step, similar to before, I then step into the potential composition. But the contrasting elements here and the textures and undulations in this beach are absolutely superb. I've been great fun actually just finding some top-down images that look completely different to what you see here, which is the vast open space. So yeah, I'm going to take a walk through. We'll keep rolling actually on the camera and I'll talk you through if I find something anyway. Um, and yeah, then you'll be able to see the images as they're there. But I'm looking here in relation to this and I can see some nice undulations here. And I see some great uh, contrast as well. So yeah, I'm going to walk along um, just around here now. Again, being careful, looking forward in relation to what I see. And there's one here now that I see. And it is basically some um, 
bright lines that are coming in and then darkness as well in the center and by just getting above that here and again now being conscious without the sun so i want to go on the other side of it uh, to be able to shoot down so that i'm not in the shadow and then just taking that here and then using my focus and making sure that it's completely in focus i'll probably use automatic focus here on this and just focus in the center of the frame i'm at f11 180th of a second my image stabilization is on and i'm just now grabbing that shot here and i think that's nice there's another one as well now as the sun will come out here and i see a nice divot uh, as well here so again i'll go to the opposite side of this come down and yeah that's good now sun is out so i have to increase my shutter speed so i'm at 160th of a second at the moment and again you know i do not need to worry about having the camera level because it makes no difference because I can move that around uh, in post. Um, now also as well just down here I can see that there's a bit of uh, water so I'm going to head down to this one here now again and even as I'm walking here I'm seeing some great uh, compositions but the sun is coming out now which is lovely and I can see some nice ridges as well that are here so I'm going to try and get above this here sorry for looking at my backside but okay and with the ridges taking that one two hundred of a second this time going above it so that i get a good plane of focus take that shot that's a nice one and i see a couple of other ones as well uh, here and i want to come to this side of this now here and this is actually very uh, good because you've got some great lines that are coming through this here when the sun is shining on that i'm at one two hundred and fifty of a second now and yeah, a couple of other nice shots there. And again, I'm not anywhere near the water and I've got all of this playground to be able to play around with. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing that anyway here now. I'll give you a look at the images that I'll get. Hopefully they'll be as nice as I think they are in the back of the camera. But yeah, what an amazing thing to do and to explore this beach relatively to myself. This place is absolutely incredible. I could spend hours here just walking around with the camera and finding composition after composition, all be they abstract compositions, but the shapes and textures in this sand are absolutely incredible. And I haven't even scratched the surface in relation to here. I think it's a place that you could come back to and get a different shot every single day because as the tide will come in, it's going to completely change. The shape, the textures, the flow, the interaction between the dark sand and the light sand. And even now, you know, I haven't even gone anywhere near the water. And that's unusual for me because I'm so fascinated by the water as a seascape photographer. But now it's completely changed my mind in relation to looking for the details here that you have on this sand. Now, the beach is starting to get busy now as well and for proper reasons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of more shots anyway here and I'm going to finish up this episode. Hope you enjoy coming along with me. I'm really looking forward now to getting back to base and having a look at these images and see how they turned out. And again, you know, thanks to Nigel Danson for the inspiration and Gavin Hardcastle for the inspiration in relation to looking at the detail on the um, beach floor. So thank you very much as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, from this beautiful place on the west coast of Ireland, Schlangefall.